back check more than ever. And I got a story about you guys about back checking and not covering your man in your own zone. <laughs> you ready for this one? So my first year as a coach, when I was coaching, excuse me, was my second year really when he came as a rookie. There was a rule that I used to tell their trainers, once all the players are on the bus, I said, you come and get me, then I get on the bus, and away we go. So we're playing Nashville, and Kaner had a great game that night, and there was two beautiful little blondes sitting behind the bench. <laughs> I mean, gorgeous blondes. No idea who they are, no clue. So a defenseman in his own zone goes around Kaner, end up getting a goal, they score. We still won the game 6-1. I come back to the bench, I tell Kaner, I said, hey, he says, what? I said, you must have been looking at those two blondes while the guy went by you. <laughs> so after the game, I walk out. Trainers are telling me, everybody's on the bus, Savvy, ready to go. Okay, good. Kaner, talking to two little blondes. <laughs> I go, hey. And I yell at him because that's a rule. Rules are rules. You got to respect them, which he does. But, you know, he had a good game, figured out it's okay, you know. And I give him a couple F-bombs on the bus now. I get, get on F-bombs on the bus now. Yeah, yeah. No, I said, now. So here he goes. He says, bye, so two beautiful blondes. We get home. He doesn't say nothing because he knows I'm mad somewhat. The next day in my office, oh, I said, hi, good morning. He says, good morning. He says, Savvy, he says, you know, he says, uh, last night, he says, after the game, he says, I, I, you know, I don't know, but you use a couple F-bombs and, you know, you know who the two girls were? He says, no, nah. I said, I had no idea. He says, one of them was Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got no idea who she is either, by the way. Even when he said Taylor Swift, <laughs> I get home, I ask my wife, I said, hey, honey, I said, who's Taylor Swift? <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> she was, uh... She was probably 18 then too, right, Kinder? Yeah. That, was a, that was a long time ago, so. That was funny though, uh, I, that, that story's uh, right, right on cue. Um, you know, here I am, I think I, I had three assists that game, and uh, I remember setting up Sharpie for, for a backdoor tap and uh, make it like six nothing. So feeling pretty good about myself, and like Savvy said, I lost my, my, my D-man in the defensive zone, they scored. 6-1, and I'm just, uh, you know, next commercial break or whatever, I'm just kind of like hanging out on the boards and not really thinking anything, just, uh, you know, enjoying my time on the ice, enjoying, enjoying my game, and uh, he starts yelling at me. I'm like, this guy's nuts for yelling at me. And he's like, <laughs> Where, where'd your D-man go? Were you staring at her the whole shift? Because they were right behind the bench, so the story's right on cue. It's true, and... Uh, um, <laughs> Um, really, really no exaggeration to it, so that's, that's exactly how I remember it, but it was funny. It's funny that we, uh, that we remember that stuff. And he's Actually, followed every rule since. Hey, by the way, who was the other girl with her? <laughs> Do you remember? No, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Even if I did, I wouldn't let you know. <laughs> I actually got a question for Savvy. Uh, 